Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you the simplest way to dash around in 3D using the character controller component. Most of the videos I've seen that cover dash are usually 2D, or the way the dash is performed is by blinking. This method I will show you will have the player smoothly move towards the dash location at a certain speed. In Unity, I have a Cinemachine camera set up that follows the player, also known as the Bean, which I then made it look like the mascot of Fall Guys. Anyways, the player has a simple third person controller script that was pretty much yoinked out of Brackley's tutorial. I will leave a link to the video and my version of the script in the description. The script just lets the player move in WASD motion, with the camera following and giving it gravity so that it can jump and remain grounded. Now that you're caught up with what I have, the first thing and only thing we'll need to do is add a new script. You can call this script whatever you want, but I'll just call it third person dash. Open it up in Visual Studio, and the variables we need are a reference to the third person movement script called move script, a public float named dash speed, and another public float called dash time. In the start method, have move script equal to get component third person movement script. Going down to the update method, I will use the mouse button to perform the dash, but you can use whatever key you want. This one is totally up to you. I used if input the get mouse button down zero will perform a coroutine, so we'll write start coroutine and the name which is dash. Outside the update method, create i enumerator named dash and add a new variable called start time, which would be equal to time dot time. Then have a while loop where while the time dot time is less than the start time plus dash time, move script dot controller, which is the character controller component dot move, will store move script dot move direction times dash speed and time dot delta time. In the end of the loop, do a yield return null. And that's pretty much it. Going back to Unity, adjust the variables of the dash speed and dash time to suit your needs. Mine is 20 speed and 0.25 dash time, since this gives a pretty dash effect. Once I press play, you can see I can move around and once I press the left mouse button, it will dash towards the direction I'm facing. If it's not subtle enough, you can see in the scene window that it's smoothly dashing towards the direction. That's pretty much all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have fun dashing. Peace.